Él. Go, Copper Squad, y'all. Go, Copper Squad. Fuck that, get back up. to Las Vegas if you just got here. That's the only city you can see dead people walking down the street. You don't believe me? Take your ass out on Las Vegas Boulevard, nigga. There's a dead Michael Jackson out there, still moonwalking. Y'all still got three shows in this motherfucking town. I seen that, y'all seen that Transformer out there? That motherfucker asked me for $5. I said, turn it to a car, motherfucker, I'll give you a hundred. That nigga was trying to. Hey, you really need a job dressing up like a truck in this motherfucking heat. You know when he leave the house and something like, Daddy, why you dressing up like a truck? Nigga, do you like food? Your daddy dumb. This is all I know how to do. Get my ties. They're so hot in this motherfucking town. I seen the devil walking down the street looking for ice water. <laughs> Said he going back to hell to cool off. It shouldn't be a fat motherfucker nowhere in this town. Take your fat ass outside and be a public grease around your ass. What's your diet? The sun! <laughs> and crazy white people, y'all motherfuckers crazy. Y'all the only ones be at these pools, niggas a hundred in hell. They out there, nigga, skin bubbling, sound like bacon. <laughs> <laughs> niggas be in them cabanas, and we don't pay for them either. <laughs> see, now we gonna sit right in this motherfucker till they come and kick us out. <laughs> then that waitress will come over. Would you like a bottle of champagne? Not for no three thousand goddamn dollars. <laughs> But well, we gonna have to ask you to leave. I didn't want to sit in this motherfucker no goddamn way. Nigga, we'll walk to another casino, get right back in another cabana. Y'all be careful when y'all out here. They ain't building these casinos because motherfuckers are winning. Got quiet in this bitch. Vegas <laughs> got some of you motherfuckers. I don't know why y'all don't figure it out when you land at McCann Airport, they got that escalator going down. Motherfuckers be hype on arrival. Nigga, we in Vegas, we about to kick it like a motherfucker. Y'all better watch them bitches going up. <laughs> Nigga, they be quiet. Purse empty, wallet dry. And my people, we the loudest when we check in casinos. Niggas arriving. Nigga, I'm in Vegas. Nigga, I'm about to get these motherfuckers. That's when them dudes in them black suits be like, we got one. <laughs> You'll see that motherfucker later on that evening on that lonely couch. Every casino got one, niggas got, you know, it's over in the distance, right by the crap table, they know niggas like to shoot craps. Nigga, I call it the losing couch, it ain't got no back on it. It don't need one, because motherfuckers sit there like this. <laughs> Be mumbling to themselves, I had it, it was in my hand, I had it, nigga. 1500, it was mine, I should have walked when I had the chance. Sisters don't let a brother leave clean either. You lose, sisters be like, yeah, nigga. I told you, black ass couldn't shoot no craps. Nigga, that was our house money. Bitch, I lost the house. You gonna have to sell pussy so we can get out this motherfucker. You see them old bitches later. Anybody want some of this? Hey, nigga, this is my 11th year doing shows out here in Las Vegas with my residency. Yeah. Yeah. This is my 32nd year anniversary doing this shit called stand up, man. You understand? Yeah. See, nigga. 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 Vegas got a lot of hoes, man. Now, when I used to come here on the weekend before I lived here, man, you know, you come and do a show, you get your dick sucked, make some money, you leave. Now that I live here, I know all the hoes. Couple of y'all motherfuckers in here tonight. You know who you are. Nigga, the hoes, all the motherfuckers, they got big, giant bags. The young hoes, they work in those. See, they got giant purses. See, real women, you know, y'all got respectable small purses. You know, look, makeup. You know, probably a couple of tampons, you know, <laughs> if it's that time of the month. You know, hoes got giant bags, nigga, you can spot them. They got three pairs of shoes in there, four, five wigs. You know, they'll go upstairs, nigga, turn a trick, come down a redhead. <laughs> and if y'all really want to see some funny shit, go to downtown Las Vegas. That's where the old hoes hang out. 
They still walk the stroll like it's 1972. They out in the sun, hot. <laughs> and they loud when you walk by and then you drive by. Eddie, you see us over here, nigga? <laughs> Come on over here, nigga. <laughs> Fuck with a bitch, nigga. <laughs> Let me suck your little comedy dick, nigga. I said, bitch, you got three teeth and they don't look like they like each other. <laughs> Wait till them motherfuckers fall out, come back and see a nigga. <laughs> Fuck y'all, don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> They'll gum you down, nigga. Smooth selling. <laughs> hoes got regular lives too, nigga. I live out here, you see hoes at grocery stores out here. Nigga, you on aisle nine, <laughs> bitch come out with a titty hanging out. Nigga, where the bread at, eh? I said, baby, put your titty up. My son right here. You're making him hungry. <laughs> Hell yeah, nigga, shit. I was married to a, a motherfucker that was, whew. I'm on my fourth marriage, you know what I'm saying, nigga? My first three wives was cool, nigga, but the third one, nigga, that was crazy pussy. Nigga, I call it, you ever had polio pussy? Polio pussy? Not a bitch that got polio. <laughs> the pussy's so good, you switch your dick in it. That bitch give you polio. Oh, God, now. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. That bitch had me following her around, nigga. I couldn't go nowhere. Where you going? I'm right behind you. <laughs> you ever had pussy so motherfucking good? She's in your house. She go in the bathroom, nigga. You be outside the door. Fuck you in there doing? Been in there too goddamn long. What the hell are you doing, woman? I'm right in here taking a shit. The bitch come out. Where you going? I'm going to the store. I'm going with you. <laughs> Y'all remember I disappeared off the scene for like two, three years? Nigga, <laughs> that pussy was that good. <laughs> I couldn't leave, nigga. Because, you know, women fuck, I think, like your occupation. You know, if you fuck a doctor, she gonna fuck like a doctor, you know. Just uh, flex your gluteus maximus. You know what I mean? You fuck a crazy bitch? Crazy women, nigga. Hey. <laughs> nigga, you're, you're, oh, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, I sat at that motherfucking house, my mama came over. She said, baby, ain't nobody seen you in about three years. I ain't seen you in seven months. You ain't doing no movies no more. You ain't doing TV. You ain't even touring, Eddie. What you doing? You're just underneath this stankin' nasty bitch. <laughs> She said, she didn't put the roots on you. <laughs> now, nigga, I didn't know what the fuck the roots mean. I'm like, mama, what you talking about? The roots, nigga. I said, did she make you some kind of gravy or spaghetti? I said, every three days. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know shit. This bitch making me period panty spaghetti. Nigga, I'm sitting up there at brainwash. <laughs> My mama said, here to kill a nigga. You make this bitch a special clam chowder. All right? Your yeah, motherfucker give her clam chowder and get a pair of her panties and bear them in the backyard. Well, as y'all can see, I'm back to work. <laughs> so if the shit ever happened to you, you know the cure. When I was a kid, nigga, you know they take you on these field trips. I was like six, seven years old, they take you to the zoo. So we went to the monkey exhibit and they wasn't doing monkey shit, they wasn't moving. So nigga, I started throwing rocks at them. I wanted to see them do monkey shit. That monkey loaded up, nigga. <laughs> and it hit a nigga right here. And it was hot. And all you heard was, ah! <laughs> nigga, this is how I became funny. <laughs> Two years of kids don't give a fuck. <laughs> kids fuck with me all the time. Hey, monkey shit head. <laughs> hey, you better learn how to clown back. Hey, fuck monkeys. <laughs> yeah, they full of shit. But I think that was God talking to me, really. That's God's way of saying, nigga, you the shit. <laughs> <laughs> nigga shit. I've been telling jokes so motherfucking long, nigga. I used to do this shit for free on the corner. Yeah, I never had to buy weed. <laughs> they like, get a little nigga dog sack, he gonna go all night. And I did too, nigga. Say, they mamas be on the porch. I told y'all Eddie Kreiser. Look at him, he can do anybody. The boy's a mimic. I said, what are you talking about, woman? See the nigga doing me. <laughs> Eddie, you gonna make it. Keep going, baby. You keep going. I appreciate the fuck out of them old sisters, man. Shit. Only family members will come outside. That boy ain't gonna be shit. <laughs> he going to jail like his uncle bucket. <laughs> I remember I had a principal told me I wasn't gonna be shit. Nigga, you ain't gonna never be shit, nigga. 
You're getting suspended. You're always clowning in class, nigga. You're gonna, you ain't gonna be shit at it. <laughs> Show you how God work. I fuck around, I become famous, right? I go back home to Kansas City, Missouri, nigga. I did a concert, Midland Theater, 5,000 seats, sold the fuck out. It was a line around the line around the bell, and if you can wrap your head around that. <laughs> I spotted this motherfucking principal in line to get a ticket. I told my limo driver, slow down. <laughs> oh, I got bougie in the motherfucker, slow down. <laughs> Nigga, I rolled the window down. Nigga, you ain't gonna never be shit! <laughs> onward, Charles, onward. <laughs> you don't tell no kid they ain't gonna be shit, even if they ain't gonna be shit. <laughs> now we on this election cycle again, nigga. And Trump motherfucker, <laughs> nigga. This motherfucker. Trump untouchable, nigga. They did this Mueller report shit. What did that take? Two, three fucking years, nigga. FBI can't get him. CIA can't get him, nigga. This nigga, God, we need you. <laughs> you gonna have to come down and get this orange motherfucker. The Sonny D is untouchable. <laughs> and I don't like the Democrats. Don't get it twisted. Democrats to me is some pussy motherfuckers. All they do is motherfucking apologize every day. I want to apologize for 1972. Biden apologizing for touching a bitch's shoulder. Now, I want to know who this bitch is. <laughs> that a motherfucker touch your shoulder and you think you getting raped. Bitch, you ain't had dick ever. <laughs> you should have thanked that man for the fucking shoulder massage. <laughs> Trump don't apologize for shit. You got to respect his gangster. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker nuts be dragging the ground, <laughs> leaving orange juice trails. <laughs> Trump, <laughs> did you grab a pussy? I'm going to grab another one tonight. <laughs> I invited Tiger Woods over to the White House so we can get some grabbing pussy together. I mean, I'm going to give him an award. <laughs> Trump don't give a fuck, that racist motherfucker. I don't like this motherfucker, man, because he want all niggas in jail or dead. He don't want no Mexicans in this country whatsoever. Paco, I'm here to tell you, don't go nowhere. Stay, nigga, we need you. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker, yeah. They trying to turn back the clock, y'all. Beware. Because the Trump show is just what it's always been, a reality show. That's just to keep your ass busy, nigga. He do so much shit every day, it tires you out. You wake up in the morning, and he done did some shit already. You go to work, by the time you get home, what the nigga did all that today? <laughs> nigga, if Obama did five of the things this motherfucker pull off every day, they'd have hung that nigga on national TV and charged you to see it. You know how hard it was to be that nigga, nigga, that clean? This nigga didn't have one motherfucking blemish. Nigga, you know how hard it is for a nigga not to do something? <laughs> nigga, I'm gonna fuck up in about 15 minutes. Just keep watching. <laughs> yeah, shit, I'm from Kansas City, Missouri, nigga. <laughs> yeah, Obama from Chicago, but if you listen to white people, he's from Nigeria or somewhere over there. Uganda and Ugutabakaka. <laughs> Trump motherfucking ass nigga This motherfucker But it's alright nigga Y'all trying to turn back the clock white people I'm hip to you I ain't going I want you motherfucker white people in here To look around at the niggas sitting close to you We ain't our father's father's father <laughs> You ain't gonna never hear yells em. <laughs> Nigga I'm going to hell or jail You pick which one <laughs> For real though, I couldn't have been no slave, man. Master would have killed me in five minutes. <laughs> With this mouthpiece, nigga shit. Kill that damn nigger. Put that smart nigger down. Put him down. He keeps talking, he's riling up the rest of them. <laughs> Put him down. <laughs> Because they always say we come from slaves, nigga. We don't come from no motherfucking slaves. We come from kings and queens. You understand know I me? Mean? They act like our history started in Roots, nigga. I seen Roots. I didn't like that motherfucking film, man. In the movie, they always had us picking cotton in the hot sun, singing like it's a happy thing. Yeah. Lord Jesus, Lord, Lord Jesus, Lord. Nigga, run! They gonna kill your ass anyway. Make a run for it, nigga. Nigga, I done took off every day. Fire! And you know back then, nigga, when you ran, if they caught you, they would cut something off, nigga. I done did it so many times, I done been a head and a torso. Still trying to get away. 
that nigga that go worm, nigga that go little worm. That nigga worm at it again, nigga. <laughs> they got a gang back, they caught my ass, no arms, no legs. Hey, what you gonna do, Ed? They took your arms and your legs. I still got my dick. <laughs> Life is always good with a dick. Shit, I can still get some pussy. It's all right with me. Nigga, how you, how you fuck? I tell the bitches, pull me up in you. <laughs> spin me, they spin me. <laughs> what do they call you? They call me pogo stick. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, white folks. Your time's coming. <laughs> oh, yeah. If karma has any kind of validity in reality, and it does, the law of karma says what? What goes around... I can't hear you, motherfuckers. What goes around... Sally, Scott, Jill, is going down. I'm telling you, you're going to have a real good time when I own you. <laughs> I'm gonna treat you right, Bob, Jill. I'm gonna let you pick cotton at night. That way your skin don't burn up. I'm only gonna beat you on Thursdays at 7.30. I got shit to do. And it's gonna be a whole lot of light-skinned, moist, day-day, prince-looking motherfucking kids on my plan, baby. So, Sally, you gonna get it. come out the barn every day morning. That nigga wouldn't stop. <laughs> Sally, what are you gonna do? He fucks you every night. What are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna move in, I love him. <laughs> White people, I don't think you couldn't have been a slave. Uh, Y'all too soft. <laughs> Look, he got that face like, whatever nigga, we could have did it. <laughs> you can barely take five minutes of me talking shit right now without turning red. <laughs> Let alone me fucking your wife. <laughs> Think all the black slave owners would be on their push. Yeah, let them go. No, let all of them go. They ain't worth a damn. Shit, I got a hundred white slaves. I ain't got a bushel of cotton out these motherfuckers. Yet. All they do is lay on the ground and burn up on you and bitch all the time. Then when you put them in the sun, you gotta grease them down first. And that sun town lotion ain't cheap shit. These motherfuckers ain't cost effective. They're bad for business. I'll tell you what. I'll sell you all 100 of my white slaves for one Mexican. <laughs> Fuck y'all. One Mexican will pick like a thousand niggas. <laughs> but they hard to catch. <laughs> yeah, they go underground. Oh, y'all been trying to catch Paco for three years. I know they down there with their gold necklace on. I can hear him in the distance late at night. Hey, hoes. <laughs> Y'all need us, white people. You don't want to get rid of me, Ned. You need me. White people need us. I mean, who you gonna have to blame your ineptitude on if I ain't here? See? White people need us so they can point the finger. Why you ain't shit, Ned? Cause of niggas. <laughs> niggas is the only reason I ain't got something. And the Mexicans are taking all the jobs. I didn't know you want to leave blow. How the fuck they taking your jobs? <laughs> Yeah, the Mexicans ain't taking your job, nigga. <laughs> Technology is. Robots took everybody goddamn job. You used to have a factory job, you work with your hand. Now a robot can do that shit. Yeah, they don't need us. It ain't just you, man. We're all unemployed. <laughs> Everybody's sick of a goddamn robot, nigga. You ain't got to do health care for no fucking robot. And I'm sick of these motherfuckers saying black people using up all the health care. No, we ain't. We only 12% of the population. And niggas don't go to the hospital. We just sick. We can't afford it, niggas. And we don't trust doctors. You go in the hospital, I don't trust that motherfucker. What's in the needle? Because, yeah, they trying to kill us, nigga. I ain't taking shit. People are crazy, man. I don't preach, I teach. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah, you want a preacher, you know where to find them every Sunday. <laughs> Nigga, you remember them motherfuckers uh, that came and shot up the black church? They can only pull that with black people, you know, we catch on quick. <laughs> you know, I've been to a black church lately, nigga. <laughs> nigga, they got guns in church now. And black churches, when everybody get in there, they lock the doors. You understand me? <laughs> the motherfucker got a knock to get in church. <laughs> uh, I was trying to uh, come and praise. Uh, Christ. 
said, that's what the nigga behind the door. No, no, we don't, we don't praise Christ here. We praise the Lord. <laughs> see, this cold word, see, white people say Christ. <laughs> Niggas, we going to see the Lord. <laughs> Hell yeah, nigga, shit. White people been killing up everybody. What's going on with y'all? <laughs> Just last week, they tried to say it was that brother that killed the motherfuckers at the job. They ain't tricking me. Nigga, that nigga was dead already, and they said he was the shooter. Because they tired of the motherfucking story that the white man is killing everybody. So they made the nigga the shooter. Why is he already dead? You understand me? And you know, fuck that. It was somebody white again. Because if I can think it, nigga, they did it. <laughs> White, what's wrong? Oh, no, I'm making you my white representative tonight. You shouldn't have sat that close. No, I'm gonna fuck with you. I don't give a fuck. Here's the shit, nigga. What is wrong? Can y'all get fired? White people get fired and go kill everybody at the job. Niggas been getting fired all the time. We don't go kill nobody. They come to us. Hey, you're fired? Hey, give them my motherfucking check. <laughs> Like this fuck ass job, no goddamn way. <laughs> Give my motherfucking check. Are we gonna send your check in the mail? No, motherfucker, I'm leaving today. My money leaving when I leave. Give my motherfucking check. No fuck ass shit. <laughs> nigga be on the block later on. Hey, hey, what happened? That motherfucker told me I'm fired, nigga. Shit, I cash this bitch, got some weed. Nigga, light it up. <laughs> white people get fired. They nice to white people. You know, when they fire us, you're fired. Good. White people get fired, nigga. It's a whole different way of fine. Oh. Ned, oh. God, I don't even know how to tell you this. Oh, fuck. Oh, I hate doing this, man. I mean, it's, it's not me, it's coming from upstairs. I gotta let you go, Ned. You gotta fucking let me go. I mean, it's some kind of fucking joke. Come on, I've been working here 27 fucking years. You gonna tell me I'm fucking fired? Is this that's how this fucking goes, man? I got a fucking mortgage. I got a wife, I got four kids and a dog named Peter. You telling me I'm fucking fired? I'm fucking fired. I'm fucking fired. That's right when they should know, nigga. They should know run, nigga. I'm fired, I'm dead. You see that motherfucker come to work the next day. Suit on, briefcase. How's it going? Hey! Fucking, fucking Ned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> niggas, niggas, niggas never get shot on the job, nigga, when that shit go down. Because <laughs> we aware of our surroundings. That motherfucker Ned come back the next day. <laughs> 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 niggas be on the motherfucking job. Ain't that Ned? <laughs> Didn't they fire that motherfucker yesterday? <laughs> Shit, it's time to take a long lunch. <laughs> they be outside. <laughs> I told you, he killing everybody. <laughs> White people, y'all just the opposite. Y'all too fucking nosy. I think that's why y'all got the pointy nose. You nosy. it. <laughs> Ned come back the next day. Y'all motherfuckers be that. God, that's, that's Ned. <laughs> Shit, he looks distraught. <laughs> Fuck, man. Hard way to go. Come on, let's go try to cheer him up. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, when niggas leave, come with us. <laughs> we know something. We got street spider senses. You know, that's from being on the block, nigga. You be like, they about to kill that nigga Earl. <laughs> nigga, we be at the club, nigga, dancing like a motherfucker. Oh, these niggas about to shoot this motherfucker up, nigga. We don't stop dancing, though, nigga. <laughs> I talk about you white people because I care. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. Y'all do shit that no other culture does. God damn it. <laughs> this is the uh, white people getting chewed up by shark season. I'm 52 years old. All the years I've been on this earth, y'all keep getting chewed up by sharks. When the fuck y'all gonna learn? Why do y'all go out that far? That's where they at? <laughs> you ain't heard of a chewed up nigga nowhere on earth. We go waist high. Y'all seen us at the beach splash around, make it look like we doing some shit. <laughs> nigga feel some seaweed. Nigga, something. <laughs> Y'all kids get out that water. We don't even go get the kids. Do what daddy taught you. Swim, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga jump out dry, nigga. <laughs> I 
joke around, man. Love who you love. You understand me? I see interracial couples in here, nigga. And my nigga, you know, you with your white woman at night, you, you're taking a chance. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> love who you love, but nigga, you taking a chance. She got that phone call she can make, man. All she got to do is 911. He's raping me. Nigga, you going to jail. <laughs> who you think they going to believe, nigga? <laughs> I ain't fucking around. <laughs> Sally, you're safe with him. <laughs> but love who you love, man. You know how hard it is for y'all to be in an interracial relationship? Y'all was probably tortured on the way in this room. <laughs> Cause motherfuckers be talking shit. <laughs> Sister's cold, nigga. Look at that nigga with that white bitch. <laughs> Couldn't handle us, huh, nigga? Had to go get you a snow bunny, nigga. Probably little dick motherfucker. We didn't want your black ass, no way. <laughs> Leroy be walking with Sally. Sally, come on, they're gonna kill us. <laughs> Brothers, we the same way. We see a sister with a white dude, <laughs> we go the fuck off. Get your money, bitch. <laughs> Get your money, bitch. Yeah, you couldn't handle that anaconda, huh? Get your money, bitch. And sister be like, what? I was just saying something. <laughs> Hell, motherfucker. Love who you love, man, but that's some rough shit, nigga. You in a, 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 a fucking relationship that's, you know, white and black, Leroy and Sally? <laughs> Sally, you got it rough. You better really love Leroy. Because that's the only nigga you gonna have. Because, nigga, white families kick y'all out the family. The white family's cold, isn't it? Get your ass out of this goddamn fast, Sally. <laughs> Bringing that jigaboo to my goddamn house. He ain't coming in here. When am I supposed to cook some fucking fried chicken? I ain't cooking no fucking fried chicken. You're out of the family. You're out of the fucking will. Get your fucking good whore, bitch ass. Out of the house. <laughs> Sally, leave the house. Goddamn Leroy, you're all I have. <laughs> Leroy try to take, you, take her to his mama house. Y'all already know, sister, you ain't bringing that white bitch in there. You ain't bringing that white bitch in my house, Leroy. I told you better than this, nigga. What am I supposed to cook, quiche? I don't cook no goddamn quiche. Get your black ass out of here with that snow bunny, nigga. You can't come in this goddamn house till you get a bitch with cornrows. <laughs> Leroy leave the house, you're all I got, Sally. And they wander the earth together, nigga. That's why you see them walk like that. They all alone. Just... <laughs> Hell yeah, the two most racist motherfuckers on earth is a white man and a black woman. You understand me? <laughs> yeah, white man don't give a fuck. Sister don't give a fuck. The only cure for that kind of relationship is when they have a baby. Y'all had a baby yet? You got two? See, you're back in the family. Because only the babies can cure that racism. You bring that baby over to that sister's house. It's my grandbaby. Lord. He got that good hair. He got the skin to win. Too. Sally, come on in here, girl. I just bullshit. Yeah, I went on that food network. I learned how to make that quiche. Come on in. You take him over that redneck now? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's my goddamn grandson. And <laughs> damn, look at little fucker got a permanent tan. <laughs> I mean, look at the size of the balls on this fucker. My wife's Korean, nigga. Shit. I'm sleeping with the enemy. I'm dating Kim Yum Yum's motherfucking sister. <laughs> Look at sister looking at me like, nigga, what you doing with that Korean shit? I was married to three of y'all. Y'all had a chance, yeah. <laughs> now I got <laughs> 10 beautiful children. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's a blessing. <laughs> Niggas looking at me like, damn, 10, nigga? <laughs> Don't judge my motherfucking ability to take care of my kids by your wallet. <laughs> All ten of mine fine in a motherfucker. And most of them grown anyway. I just got my four youngest with me. The rest of the first crop I call them. First crop gone. <laughs>